boys and girls, can you believe it? It's day five. It's been amazing. This week has flown by and we hope you have had the best time. We know that it's been online and all that jazz, but I hope and we hope that you've had a great time learning about God, getting focused on taking a closer look, all the great things we've learned about God and his creation, about Jesus. And today we have an incredible bottom line. What is it, Aaron? Guys, our bottom line today is that you can live for God by loving others. How awesome is that? That's incredible. That's amazing. I love that idea that we can take everything that we've learned this week and all the love that God's poured into us, and we can just let that go out into the world. So really cool. All right. We've got a worship video coming up and some other stuff. Hang with us. Final day. I didn't know if you'd recognize me without the lights on and the flashlight, but today we are playing flashlight tag in the lab, which means I might have to... Kyle! <laughs> uh, be right back. Where are you? <laughs> Hi, guys. Have any of you seen Kyle? I'm trying to catch him. You're never going to catch me! <gasps> I heard you! I heard you! <laughs> oh, wrong way. Oh. Go! Kyle! Kyle! 
things for that. Man, it is crazy back there. Everything is so dark. You can't see anything. It's like it's like a maze in the lab. Uh, you're you're tripping over things. You're running. Ah! Oh! Things. Oh! Ah! I better, uh, yeah, I better go check on her. Shh. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, where was I? I was uh, talking about lights, flashlight tag. Where else? Um, Got oh! you! Oh! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Wilson, Wilson just got me. <laughs> I'm the king. <laughs> okay, uh, king. Hey, do you, do you mind uh, putting the spotlight on me real quick? Okay, yeah. Perfect. Light illuminates everything that we see and even some things that we can. So today on A Closer Look, we're talking about just that. Stay tuned. Ah! Samantha? Samantha? When we think about light, we usually think about lamps or the sun, but there's so many different ways to use light, like, uh... No spoilers, please. Kyle, I am your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Light isn't just something out of bulbs or from the sun. Light is also lasers. Oh. <laughs> but what good do lasers even do? Well, they look cool. But looking cool isn't a reason to be talking about it on this show. I mean, this is science that we're dealing with here, people. What's the practical application? First, uh, the fact that you care about the content of this show means the world to me, so thank you. And second, lasers can be used in so many different ways. It can help uh, shape people's eyes so they can see better. Oh, like a uh, LASIK. Yeah, you know, my dad had that done before we couldn't even read a stop sign, but now we can read the newspaper over my mom's shoulder when they're in separate rooms. Wow, exactly. <laughs> and there's also LIDAR. Ooh! What's that? Well, it's basically a radar that uses lasers. So we use light to scan entire areas to take an incredibly detailed photograph that we normally couldn't see with the naked eye. Uh, check it out. <gasps> Look, an entire ancient city covered by trees for hundreds of years, and we discovered it using LIDAR. See, the city couldn't be seen because the trees had covered it up, but we found it with light using LIDAR. <laughs> Plus, they sound super cool. Yeah, they do. <laughs> also, because high-powered lasers are accurate over long distances, we can measure things like elevation very, very... Houston, we have a problem. Very accurately. <laughs> But that's some of the small picture stuff about light. But what about the big picture stuff? Like about supporting life on our planet? Well, we're gonna talk about all of that right after this. I will, yeah, yeah. there. Who are you looking at? You looking at me? Huh? You looking at me? Are we rolling? Oh, <clears throat> hello. 
I'm Kellen, and we've been having a lot of fun taking a closer look at the world around us. So I have a mirror here, but it's not just any mirror. It's a two-way mirror. The way it works is that one person can see through it from the side where it's darker, and the person on the other side sees a reflection of themselves when the light is on them. So here's me, but when I stand behind it and change the lighting, can you see me now? Cool, right? I'm seeing a reflection of myself, but if we change the lights again, I see you. Cool, right? All right, well, we'll come back to that later. So our story today actually comes from two different books of the Bible. Now, they're both pretty famous passages. The first is from the book of Matthew, where the Pharisees are asking a question of Jesus. First, let me explain who the Pharisees were. They were a group of religious leaders who tried to honor God by following a bunch of religious rules. The problem was, they focused so much on following the rules that they didn't love God or other people very well. They also didn't like how Jesus claimed to be the Son of God, and they didn't like how everyone seemed to be following after Him. When one of the Pharisees asked his question, he was really trying to put Jesus to the test and see if Jesus might say something that would get him in trouble. So he asked Jesus this question, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Now the law he was referring to was the law in the Old Testament that had lots of rules. Lots of rules for all kinds of things like what kind of work you could do on certain days of the week or making sure you covered your water wells or to not eat owls. Seriously, it's in there. Check it out. So Jesus answers them and says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Jesus basically sums up the law with those four verses. There are more than 600 rules in the Old Testament. And Jesus says here what you need to do. Love God, love people. That's it. Crazy, right? But how do we love someone? I mean, what is love? The Apostle Paul had some things to say about love in the book of 1 Corinthians. Paul said, Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not dishonor others. He also says that love does not look out for its own interests. Love is full of joy. It always protects. It never gives up. Love never fails. Now, that's a lot of beautiful words about love. But what does it look like in our everyday life? What does it look like for love to be patient? Okay, what if your little brother or sister has destroyed the Lego tower you built for the third or fourth time? Showing them love might mean that you're patient and that you don't get angry at them. What does it look like for love to be kind? Well, maybe there's a new kid at school or at camp, and maybe they don't look or sound like you or any of your friends. It may not be easy, but to show that person love means to show kindness. Invite them to sit with you at lunch or play with you at recess, even if your other friends don't want to. What does it look like for love to never fail? That's a big one, right? To say that love never fails? Well, I don't think Paul was saying that love is always easy. It's not. And sometimes we might feel that love has failed when you try to show someone kindness or patience and they make fun of you or they ignore you. But I think maybe Paul is saying that we can't give up. And if we continue to show people love, it will change them and change us, even if we can't see it immediately. I think it's also good to remember that God is described as love. And what God did by sending us his son Jesus will never fail. Even when we mess up, God still loves us, and we can show that same love to others. Here, let me show you something. So we're back at this two-way mirror. Remember that it works because of light. When you light up one side of the mirror and lower the light on the other side, the person that has the light shining on them is able to be seen. So when I shine the light on myself, I can look in the mirror and see myself. Hey, Kellen! But when we turn the light down on ourselves, 
and we turn the light up on the other side of the mirror, we turn the light on others. We turn the focus on other people and we can see who they are and what they need. When we take a closer look at others, we're able to see them as God sees them and live for God by loving them. Pretty incredible, right? So, as you go home and as you meet new friends in the next few weeks, remember that you can live for God by showing others God's love. And keep a lookout because there are so many things to learn about God when you take a closer look. I'll see you guys next time. Do you ever wonder how we got this amazing world around us? It's all because of four little words. Let there be. Oh, I know this one. Oh, light. <laughs> light is the main source for life on our planet. Light is the sole source for food creation on our planet. For instance, we need light to grow our fruits and our vegetables. But have you ever wondered why? It's all because of a little process known as photosynthesis. Here's how it works. The sun shines on us, and the plants use that energy to turn carbon dioxide, which we cannot breathe, into oxygen. And oxygen is what we breathe. So next time you take a deep breath, think a plant. Because plants are pretty important. Thanks, plants. We need light to see, yes, but light comes in a spectrum that makes our world beautiful. For instance, if we didn't have this various spectra of light, our world might look like. I don't like it. Oh man, I got Neapolitan. How am I gonna know which one's the chocolate? But because we do have different kinds of light, our world looks like. Hmm. Figured it out. <laughs> From clean solar energy to maintaining the Earth's temperature to letting us know when to go to sleep at night, light plays a huge role in our everyday life. Everything we do here at A Closer Look requires light. After all, we need light to take a closer look. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Did you uh, leave in any ice cream for me? Ah. Uh, we left you a little strawberry. <laughs> a plant that gets the right amount of sunlight will thrive and grow. <laughs> I am so full of sun energy, I could not be more psyched. <laughs> But if the plant doesn't get the right amount of light... What? People can be the same way. Sometimes when a light isn't shining on someone, we can't see the details of them in their life. That's why we gotta do everything we can to light others up, shining a light on others and showing them love. Well, uh, hey Wilson, can, can you fix that spotlight please? Got it! <laughs> this feels wonderful! <laughs> when I shine a light on Samantha, I can see how enthusiastic she is. And I can also see that she likes it when others are just as enthusiastic as her. <laughs> I know that she gets excited about even my craziest idea. <laughs> Way to bring the fun, Samantha! Oh, hey, thanks, Kyle! <laughs> and when I shine a light on Wilson, I can see how smart he is and how he makes all of us smarter. It's true. <laughs> and I won't let his grumpiness get in the way of telling me so. Aww. <laughs> what are you doing to shine a light on your friends? How are you seeing them better? 
Well, guys, that's it for this week. Thank you for joining us and for taking a, a closer, closer look. look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to. I wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, high five again. High five. <laughs> You're doing it. <gasps> <laughs> I'll go check on it. Focus, VBS. We're on day five, everybody. Hoorah. Woo! Day five wreck with Coach Rob. Roll them. All right, hello everyone, it's Coach Rob. This is our final day of game time, and today we're gonna be playing Foursquare. <laughs> some of you may have played this game before at the pool or somewhere, but we're gonna go over the rules real quick. You can play this game with four, but if you don't have four people in your instructions sheet that you're given, you can play it with two or other number of people. So we have our squares labeled one, two, three, four. And the goal is to get to this square one. So the person who starts in square one is going to bounce the ball and hit it across. And then you're going to bounce it into other people's squares. And what happens is if the square, if the ball bounces twice in your square, then you're out. Or if you hit it out of the square, then you're out. Or if you hit a line, you're out. And then when you're out, you have to go back to number four and everyone else shifts up. So the goal is to kind of defend your square and hit the ball back into other people's squares. So let's play the game and let's have some fun. All right. Nice work. Strong play. No one's been out yet. This game has taken a long time. So since it bounced two times in this square, you're going to shift down to square four, and y'all two will shift over. All right, let's play it again. All right, let's go from there. On the line. All right, so you guys switch places right there. Wow. Bounce twice. You guys switch now. There's some real competitive play here. Bounce twice. <laughs> All right, start over. Why don't you do a wrap up, Sam? All right, final round. <laughs> All right, everyone do their best here. Final Here we are, day five, Focus VBS 2020, arts and crafts time with Mindy Rollum. Hey guys, it's day five and welcome to the arts and crafts. Um, so today we're gonna make a spinner to remind us to spread God's love all around. Um, and to start, grab a pencil um, and Kind of start on the outside and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to circle around the plate and don't connect them but just keep going just all around so you're making a spiral all around just like that and then take whatever you want to decorate today i'm going to use some fun heart stickers there should be some um, in your activity bag so don't forget to look and i'm going to decorate it all around with these fun stickers and then i think i will Take some, ooh, let's see, maybe some markers and draw some stars and maybe even some squigglies and make it super colorful and fun. And then I'm going to take scissors. Don't forget to ask a grown up or a helper for help if you need some. And you're gonna follow the line that you made with your pencil all around. So, we are making the spinner because it is just such a good reminder to go out and tell everyone that you love, that you love 
God and that he is there for you no matter what. And this is just a good representation of how his love spreads through you. So you see how our plate is spreading out. And you can still see all the fun stickers and decorations. And if you make it super colorful, it will be fun and bright. And what you're gonna do after that is take your hole punch and put a hole right at the top, right like this. And then Miss Garrison's provided some string for you in your activity bag. So take that and you can tie a bow or a knot in the top. And then you can hang it from a tree or from a post on your porch or um, even just inside your room. So it's just a fun reminder of how you can spread God's love. And guys, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us at BBS this week. We, um, I've just had so much fun leading you in some arts and crafts and um, hope to see you really soon. Bye guys. Oh man, what an incredible week and the time we've had together. It's been so much fun. Boys and girls, we can't thank you enough for being with us and being a part of this Focus 2020 VBS. And man, I just feel like I've learned so much about God's goodness and his love and ways that we can see God and experience God and tell others about God. And I loved Aaron the spinner craft. That was so cool. Man, Miss Mindy is the coolest. And what about Coach Robin, the four square year guys? I hope parents got out there. You got sweaty and into it. What Thank a great time. You. Thank you, Coach Rob. Thanks to all of our volunteers and everybody who helped make VBS possible. Uh, even online, it took a big crew and a lot of coordination. So we want to thank everybody for helping us put it together. Big shout out to Christina, our fearless SJC Kids Coordinator. But, all right, so we're not done yet. We want to go over our memory verse one more time because it's so fun. And we know you've got it, boys and girls. So stand up in your living rooms. Let's, and get, let's get ready. To, and to get hype, let's maybe let's, do a little oh, air high five. Oh, is it time? Is it time? One, two, three. Here we go. Let, Let us keep, keep looking to Jesus. Jesus. He, he is the one who started this journey of faith. And he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Hebrews 12 to All right. Give yourselves a round of applause. We've got a final worship song. But before we do that, we want to close in prayer. And we've asked Aaron to just say a prayer for us as we leave today. So let's pray together. All right, y'all. Bow your heads. Dear God, we just thank you so much for this chance to come together and learn more about you and have lots of fun. Thank you that you are in our hearts, that you rose from the dead um, to be with us. We pray that you would bless our family and friends um, and keep us uh, growing in, in knowing you. We love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. It's been so much fun. Aaron, thank you for co-hosting. Great job on Woo! your part. Moms and dads, we want to thank you for tuning in this week. We want you to stay connected with us anywhere, anytime on social media at SJCILM. We look forward to connecting with you then. And when things get back to some kind of normal, we hope to see you again soon. We love you guys. God bless. Take care. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I 
keep on looking, looking, looking to you. I fix my eyes on you. Said that the most important thing you can do is to love God and love others. You can do that by treating others the way you want to be treated. Think of others instead of just thinking of yourself. Put your focus on what God has done for you and then live your life differently because of it. You can live for God by loving others. You can put the focus on other people and share God's love with them every day. Here's a question for you. How do you focus on others? I bet you've got some great ideas about that. Talk about them with whoever is there in your house or apartment with you. <laughs> I've had a great time with you guys these last few days. Thanks for hanging out and joining us here at Focus. Hey everybody, it's been so much fun doing VBS together online, Focus 2020. It's been fantastic. We wanna thank you for joining us and having your family be a part of this experience. And we want to cap the week with a special parade on our campus at St. John's here in Wilmington from three to four o'clock on August the 7th. So complete your VBS, join us for maybe a sweet treat and an opportunity to drive through safely distance and we'll have some fun with it. So August 7th, three to four, hope to see you. Thank you, take care.